In most cases, in order to be a planeswalker, you had to be born with a soul, but in Karn's case, he is the exception that proves the rule. Karn was created by Urza with Baron's help and Xanthus Hearthstone as a probe to explore temporal anomalies, and is made out of silver. As a golem, Karn's theoretically indestructible, but Urza did in fact program him to feel pain, and thanks to the Hearthstone, Karn does have a personality. He's a very gentle, kind and timid individual who has protected the likes of Teferi and Joyra. He was even a prominent member of the Weatherlight crew and palled around with Gerard Capuchin for a time. And despite being a pacifist, Karn did take the life of a Phyrexian captain named Savo Tavak. Being a creation of Urza, Karn was an inherent part of the legacy and was vital in the defeat of Yawgmoth, as without him the legacy could not activate. But upon its detonation, Karn proved that he is, on some level, capable of having a soul. As Urza's spark was transferred to him, the first thing Karn did was create a world of mathematical perfection called Argentum, or as some of you may know it better, New Phyrexia. For a time, Phyrexian oil infected Karn's hearthstone, but after being cleansed by the sacrifice of Venzer, Karn has sought a way to purge his creation of the horror he had inadvertently unleashed, and may even die trying. In a way, Urza's legacy lives on in a golem doing what he always did, trying to end Phyrexian tyranny through violent means. Thank you so much for watching, and may your revels never end.